We are living in a world where artificial intelligence is growing in prominence across business and society. In the age of AI, having fast access to all data is monumental. AI doesn't care if the data is six seconds old or six months old. It must analyze everything quickly, in context, and in the moment. Now, founded in 2016 and headquartered in New York, Fast Data is disrupting the traditional old guard of data infrastructure, providing organizations with a data platform that can match the ambition of AI era companies. Fast's mission is to create simple solutions that make data more meaningful, unlocking intelligence and utility. And with me is founder and CEO of Vast Data, Renan Halleck. So great to have you here, welcome. Thank you for having so, me. So let's talk a little bit about the company. Uh, tell me about your vision when you founded Vast Data. Yeah, so as you said, we started back in 2016, and the idea was to build a new type of platform for the age of deep learning, for the age of AI. And when we started, we took six months just to talk to potential customers, okay. interview them, ask them what is it that they need, what is it that they're missing, what over the next five to ten years do they see that is going to hinder their success. Mm -hmm. And the results that came back from that, the answers that they gave us, was that first and foremost, they needed faster access to large amounts of data. And the way data storage was built before, you always had a compromise between speed of access and the amount of data that you could store. And so our first mission was to break that trade-off and to build a single system where you could access all of your information. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've done so far. And that's the universal storage. That's correct. Okay, so and that's really kind of innovative concept in data storage, right? Yes, we had to base it on some new uh, technologies that did not exist actually before 2018, mm. and then build a new architecture around that and level that with a lot of software algorithmic work and metadata structures mm. in order to be able to build one system that is bigger than what was before and faster than what was before and have the ability to access all of your information instantaneously on a very resilient system and one that's very, very easy to use. Okay, and you've um, actually grown your customer roster by quite a bit just in a few years here. So, I mean, tell me a little bit about, I know you've got a variety of companies, life sciences, there's quality, quantitative firms, animation even. I mean, give me some uh, examples of some of the companies that you work with and what you've been able to do for them. Of course, mm -hmm. so anyone who has a lot of information needs this type of solution. We started a petabyte and we grow into the exabyte range, we have customers with hundreds of petabytes on VAST. For example, in the financial space, we're at NASDAQ, uh, we have a lot of hedge funds using VAST. And before, maybe they could do back testing on one week's worth of data or two weeks. Now they can go back all the way to the beginning of time, 10 years, 20 years of information. And instead of analyzing it overnight in a batch process manner, they can do it real time. And so that's a big advantage. And then we have autonomous driving vehicle companies where they do everything from the ingestion of the data from the cars and inference of that information all the way into deep training in order to build out better AI models and redistribute those out into the vehicles. Mm. Um, animation. Animation. Okay, tell me about that. Yeah, we have <laughs> a lot of uh, media and entertainment type customers mm -hmm. that do uh, anything from animation to uh, more modern things like uh, the metaverse or uh, simulations or um, digital twins. All of these require a combination of AI and graphics. And again, you couldn't access the amount of information that's required before VAST enabled that okay. kind of thing. That's amazing. <laughs> so data is the new oil. I mean, now you yes. know where that comes from. So tell me about the, the business model then. How does it work? Is it software only? Explain all that. We only write software, and so we don't have any innovation on the hardware side. We partner with companies like NVIDIA, like Intel, in order to leverage the best and latest hardware in order to provide our customers with that ability. But all of our IP is in software, and that's what we sell our customers. We found that historically, um, in the storage space, appliances were sold to customers, and that forced customers to refresh needlessly every three years, every four years, and waste a lot of effort and money on that. Instead, we just provide a software subscription, and our architecture allows us to disaggregate the hardware from the software piece, such that our customers can infinitely stay on the same system without needing to refresh 
or migrate their data. Okay. And how do they access that? Is it subscription based? You yes. Think? Okay. And that's how that works. So right. they just pay a subscription. They can have access to all this data that that's they right. need to operate the business. And in just three years, I mean, you've taken the company cash flow positive. Um, you've achieved four times growth year over year. Um, I mean, clearly this was something that companies needed. Yes, uh, the one metric that I am most proud of is we have a 300% net dollar retention rate, which basically tells me that the customers need it and like it and want to uh, triple down uh, every year. We also recently uh, did a survey through Gartner where 100% of the customers said they would recommend Vast to their peers and colleagues in other companies. And so, yeah, that's driving the growth. We just finished our third year of sales at nearly $300 million in bookings run rate. Wow, congratulations. So what's the future for Vast Data? So we're just getting started. Mm -hmm. uh, when we started, we wanted to build a platform for deep learning, for AI. We've built out the storage piece of that, and we're now going up the stack and building out more and more layers around database, around compute, around uh, the ability to have a global namespace. Mm -hmm. These are things that application vendors want from the infrastructure stack and today don't have, and we want to give that end-to-end -end solution. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Renan. Fascinating company, congratulations. Thank and you. Such great growth in a short amount of time.